Namaste. Today in my kitchen, let's do together Guru Ayur Rasa Kale. Goes without saying, any naivedya, any prasadam that you offer with love to God and that is served to the people makes it immensely tasty. So this is one of the recipe what you must try once and enjoy this. It's a combination of two um, pumpkins, ash gourd and the normal pumpkin this is made with. So let's have a look at the ingredients. I'm sure you're going to really love this. If you're going to take to make this dish, any measurements that you need, you can do it for you. I'm taking like this, a one bowl of measurement of the vegetable. I have taken nice one full cup of the ash gourd, which is cut into cubes small. I have added about half teaspoon of the cumin powder and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm going to add that there. Add two green chilies slit into it, some sprigs of the curry leaves. When you take full of ash gourd, little less should be the pumpkin. That also we have added here. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of the curd. Add some water as well. Don't worry about the curd. Uh, you are adding with the vegetables and then you are going to boil and it might uh, curdle up. Don't worry about the curdling process. Add as much as water you need for the vegetable to get cooked. Okay. I am going to slit in the green chilies. Add about 1 teaspoon of the pepper powder as well into it. Then to add one teaspoon of the pepper powder, salt to taste. Okay, allow it start to boil. Now we're going to grind half cup of the coconut, two pieces of green chili, one teaspoon of the cumin. Grind it fine paste and keep it aside. We will need about half teaspoon of the chili flakes, then we will need uh, one teaspoon of the mustard. Adjusting the level of spice is up to you. So because we have added four green chilies, if your green chilies are more spicy, control a little bit on the pepper powder. Then you can add a little bit of red chili and then increase, increase or decrease the flavor according to it. But for karka definitely you will need a uh, uh, the chili flakes to do that. So now first we will start to boil the vegetables and we will need some curry leaves as well for karka. I have added the coconut cumin and one tablespoon of curd here and I am going to nicely grind this and take out. Fine paste. Vegetable is getting cooked very well. Till such time both the vegetables are cooked well. Don't add the grounded masala to it. I'm going to add in the grounded coconut mix what we have kept. I'm going to add about half cup of curd and beat it and take it well. So I'll be sooner adding that as well. Mixing it well. Let this get cooked in this masala well. Now another half cup of curd. I will beat. Okay, the coconut has got nicely mixed here. Now I am going to add in our curd. I am going to off the flame because it is pretty hot. Okay, and I will add a little bit of water to it. Adjust the thickness of the curry. Okay, mix it well. Now I'll put on the flame back. Okay. Don't allow this to boil. The moment it becomes little boiled on the side, like you feel the broth is coming, just off. Little bit salt. A 
off the flame because the pot is very hot. Add about two to three tablespoon of the coconut oil. To it, I've added the mustard. Then I'm going to add about half teaspoon of the chili flakes, quarter teaspoon of the fenugreek powder. If you don't have fenugreek powder, you can add the granules itself directly onto this. Much mustard is spluttering, so soon add in this both the ingredients. That's Chili flakes gives a good flavor to it. The entire taste of this rasakalan comes from the chili flakes. Okay. So don't avoid the chili flakes at all at any cost. And add it on to the rasakalan. The flavor of the chili flake, then the fenugreek, curry leaves, cumin, and the salt and the sweet and the sour of the uh, pumpkin and the uh, curd, everything together makes this dish oh, fantastic. Goes well with rice. Okay. Add this as well. So we have made the rasakalan, the Guruai special rasakalan. Try making this, it's excellent, you will really love this. Thank you for watching me here, happy cooking and happy eating. Bye bye.